Hi, my name is Matt Kugisberg. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pocket set. What a, po a pocket set is a set made for, for trapping, made in a, along a ditch bank or stream or river. Uh, what this set will catch, it'll catch you mink and muskrat and coon is the primary things that'll catch you. Now, the set is very simple to make and there's a lot of variations to it. I'm going to show you the way that I make it. And I'm going to show you the way that's caught me hundreds of animals. Uh, it works well for me. I, I never had a problem with it. And, uh, well, I'm going to teach you a little something today. All right, so we're going to begin by, or we're going to make our pocket set now. Uh, what I've done is I found a location along the bank that's got a good angle to it that's most straight up and down, so you don't want to low you want a nice sharp angle so for, you don't need a whole lot to make the set just a nice tile shovel uh, simple trap here and then your stake just simple rebar stake so first thing I'm gonna do is come in here we're just gonna pull the grass back and make a nice big visual a visual disturbance in the dirt here and expose expose the chunk that we're going to cut our hole in. So now take our shovel and just make a nice hole in here in the ground. Pop that dirt out. And I'll get a close up view once I, I'm finished here so you can see it, see it a little better. But we just want to make a nice deep pole going straight back into the bank. I like it about a good foot back into the bank and uh, get, make sure I can get way back in there. And then take that mud that we just pulled out of there and make a nice little shelf here for the trap. And I want that shelf about two to three inches below the surface of the water here. And now, we're going to take our trap, set it, all right, now we're going to set it right, right on the shelf that we just made for, for the trap. And we're going to pull the chain straight out into the deepest point of the water and stake it good and solid. Get it down in there. Make sure nothing's going to pull it out. And now that we have it down here in the uh, deepest water, when the animal gets caught, it'll come out here, get tangled around our stake, and drown. So, nice quick death. Now, just look around the bank. Find a little stick like this. Get a couple. You need just two sticks. What we're gonna do is put one on each side of the trap to narrow it down. Make sure the animal steps on the trap right where we want them to. Just stick them in there like that, kind of on each side of the hole. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple set. Very quick. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot, you know, you just need a shovel. Oops, my shovel's floating away here. Your shovel and uh, trap and a stake. And I like to use waders so I can go in deeper water. Uh, some people just use hip boots or regular knee boots. That's fine if you're in shallower water. And I like wearing gloves. Uh, I hate working in the cold, cold water. It's fall now, water's cold. I hate having cold hands, wet hands. So. That's all it takes to make the set. And now one thing I like to do, which I really find uh, helps improve my catch or give me a better catch ratio is bait. Put bait in the back of the hole. It's not necessary. It's an optional thing. Um, I do it for most of my sets if I have bait. Uh, a lot of people use bait or use fish for the bait. I prefer muskrats. Uh, I think it's they do a better job. So I've had these muskrats in this bag hanging here for about a week. So they're good and stinky. Yeah, they smell pretty bad. 
And uh, these are just old muskrat, muskrat carcasses from muskrats I've caught, caught last weekend. So I'm just gonna take it, put a nice ball, and stick it in the back of the hole here. So now that smell is gonna come out here. That's gonna draw in the mink especially, but other muskrats will come check that out too, and even coons. Coons will come check that out. So now we've got a nice visual here. We got our hole, we got our trap. We got our two stakes to narrow everything down to make sure it goes onto that trap. <coughs> and uh, hopefully tomorrow we catch something. I'll uh, bring the camera closer so you can see exactly what it looks like and then I'll show you I'll, shut up, I'll set up another one above water so you can see exactly how the trap is and everything without the gleam of the water on it. So, uh, this is a set. Uh, you can just see the trap underneath the mud there. Got the stick on each side and the muskrat in the back of the hole. So now I'll go make I'll go make another set and then show you guys that. Okay, so here you can see <clears throat> this is a set I made above water, so you can see the trap and everything without there being uh, any water reflection or mud in the way. So a typical water level will be right about here. So my hole that I punched in here will be about half submerged, and my trap is going to be right out in right out in front of the hole with a with a stick on either side of the trap to keep keep that hole narrow and keep the animals going right through here. And this is the shelf as you can see kind of drops off here. I got my traps in on a nice shelf and I have the chain running out into deeper water. So if, if your set looks like this you've made a good set. You can throw bait in the back if you want to but it's not necessary. And uh, We'll come back tomorrow and see if we caught anything in that other set. Pretty exciting. All right, welcome back. Uh, just checked traps this morning. It was pretty windy outside, so I uh, didn't record outside. But uh, as you can see, I got uh, three muskrats and a mink. Uh, the set I showed you on the video, I didn't catch anything, but I had a set about um, probably 40 feet away. And that's the one I caught this mink in. And this mink, I checked, I checked traps about an hour after I set them. And I caught this mink already. So that just shows how fast you can catch something when you have a good set sitting out there. Uh, anyway, that's how you trap. It's pretty easy as you can see. Pretty quick. So, good luck.